We all know that feeling of finally getting your hands on a brand new gaming mouse, eagerly you open up the packaging, put the mouse on your desk and slide it around, only to find out that the stock skates feel like you're tearing a hole in your mouse pad and are slower than the V1 Super Glides after a week's use. If you're tired of waiting for months for companies to come out with your favorite skates for that shiny new mouse of yours, or if you simply want some speedy skates that work on any mouse out there, Dot skates are definitely something you should have a look at, and this video will explain to you which ones you should get and why. Having main software pads like the Artisan and Hayate Yatsu soft for ages, I've always tried my best to completely ignore dot skates. If you're somebody like me who puts pressure into the mouse pad when tracking people, basically all smaller skates used to either scratch on your soft pads or make the bottom of the mouse rub against the surface because they're too thin. Since I last tried dot skates many moons ago, companies like X-Ray Pad and Ghost Glides have come out with new offerings that are much improved over what was on the market three years ago. In this video I will tell you about all the relevant dot skates options, what their strengths and weaknesses are, which ones you should get for what use case, and also provide you an overall best all-round option. Before we begin with the first option, I wanted to let you guys know that over 87% of you guys watching still aren't subscribed, so make sure to do so if you're enjoying the content. I also quickly wanted to mention that my Discord server Pericord has finally opened to the public. It's the one-stop shop for anything peripherals, and we're working together with all kinds of reviewers, brands, and also other Discord servers in the community to make it as good and complete of a server as we possibly can. Come join us at the first link in the description. Starting with one of the most popular options, the Tiger Ice V2 dots. These come in at around 3.5 euros without shipping on AliExpress. I personally don't understand the hype behind these on Twitter whatsoever. The skates themselves are pretty thin and scratch on most of my pads. The gliding experience on the Tiger Ice skates also isn't anything to write home about, and especially on their larger skate models you realize how slow they are compared to the competition. There have also been some rumors about the skates being different to the V1s, but after contacting Esports Tiger themselves I can confirm that the V2s are just an improved version over the ones with basically the same gliding experience and just some improved adhesive. And also these V2s will actually fully replace the V1s, which you'll no longer be able to purchase in the future. Whilst the skates actually felt just as good on glass as most other skates in this video, I really can't recommend these on cloth pads since they are just way better options for the price in this category. I do appreciate that Esports Tiger provide you with different diameters, but in my opinion they should also provide another variant of these that are thicker and more rounded to be able to compete with certain other options you'll hear about in a bit. Ghost Lights is a pretty new company from the UK that specializes in mouse gates. Their edge runner dots come in at around 12 euros for 20 dots, which is some pretty steep pricing if you're asking me personally. The skates themselves are excellent though, and so far they've been the second best dart skates I've ever tried. They're not too thick, but since they're really equally rounded, they're a joy to use on all types of surfaces. I did want to mention that they've got a small layer of transparent protection film, so make sure to get rid of that once you've installed them. The dots are really speedy, only scratch on really soft pads when putting a lot of pressure into the pad, and are definitely something I enjoyed. However, as Stubby pointed out in his Ultimate Mouse Skate Recommendations video, the Ghost Glide Edge Runner dots seem to come from the same exact OEM as the skates that the community refers to as the Gulong skates. The Gulong dots come in at around 1.4 euros for 40 dots, which is incredibly affordable, and almost make the Ghost Glide dots look like a scam. And since the Gulong long skates are basically the same, there really isn't much more to say except for that there is absolutely no reason not to get those if all you're looking for is the best budget dart skate option ever. There really isn't anything out there that's able to compete with them at that price, and they're really solid and smooth on both firmer cloth pads and glass pads. Another skate option that is compatible with most mice out there are these skates that the community refers to as the Gulong Ovals. They are very thin and scratchy, and I'm not even gonna talk about them more than that. Stubby told me that he quite literally stacks these skates just to make them thick enough, but that's just way too scuffed for me to recommend doing. But yeah, since these are barely worth mentioning, I won't be going into more details than that. One of the very best options out there, however, are the new Jade and Obsidian Dots from X-Ray Pad. These come in at around 5.6 euros for 40 skates and are absolutely based. 
Not only are they the most rounded PTFE dart skates out there, but also are they some of the fastest and smoothest skates I have ever felt. The X-ray pad darts come in two different variants, the jades that are these white skates and obsidians that are these red ones. The jades do actually have a break-in period that lasts for about a day. During that break-in period you'll notice that the skates pick up a lot of texture from the pad, but once it's gone they're buttery smooth and still really speedy and just amazing. The obsidian darts don't have that break-in period and are therefore ever so slightly more controlled. Also they're smoother and especially amazing on glass pads. If you're looking for new skates for your glass pad, these are definitely the best option out there. Another pair of dart skates that I quickly wanted to mention are these Ultra Glide ones. These come in at either 5 euros for 40 or 8.4 euros for 80 skates. And they're from the same OEM as the X-ray pad skates as well, so the glide and quality are basically the same, but at a slightly cheaper price. With shipping included, these are actually more expensive for me personally, but that will totally depend on which country you're ordering from. Some people will actually be able to get 80 of these skates for as little as 10 euros. Now to the conclusion, are dot skates for you? And if so, which ones should you get? If you don't play on soft pads or simply don't really put any pressure into the mouse pad when aiming, I can definitely recommend having some dart skates lying around for any new mice you're getting that have bad stock skates. For those who are looking for the best skates out there, the jade darts from X-Ray Pad are definitely the way to go. If you're a glass pad enjoyer, I'd certainly recommend you to go for the obsidian darts from X-Ray Pad. For those who are simply looking for the most affordable option, the Gulong darts are an absolute no-brainer and only 1.4 euros for 40 freaking skates. My personal favorite are definitely the X-Ray Pad Jade darts and those are what I will recommend to almost anybody since they're certainly the best all-rounder in my opinion. As always I'll make sure to link all the items mentioned in this video down in the description. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on Pericord. Peace out. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, da, da, da.